Hi everyone, a few cryptos to watch today as Bitcoin is in full blown nuketown. Something I really need to watch uh, as well as you guys is when uh, Bitcoin has its down move, you want to watch for relative strength. Last night, all I was watching was my watch list on this right hand side and the only crypto that was holding up well and outperforming Bitcoin uh, based on the, the Bitcoin pair was Stacks, it was up about 4% while well, everything else was getting crushed. That's really important because Bitcoin is being swapped into that crypto so it's holding itself up. Normally when the, the bottom is found itself, it could be 62, 60,000, 50,000, whatever, that crypto should you know take off better than others. And Stacks has a nice narrative, narrative around it, and I think that sort of that side chain layer too with Bitcoin. So I think it's a really good choice as a, you know potentially a wonder watch or a cherry ripe. Not gonna really say a wonder watch or cherry ripe today, it's a bit silly with everything going on. Um, but Stacks, I think for those uh, reasons mentioned, is a really, really good candidate. It's chopping around, had a nice move last night. I think it could be starting to try a new trend here, that higher high, potentially making a higher low here, and then moving higher from that. So one hour on Stacks is really good. Uh, I'm gonna kill some darlings here. Solana, I think she is my danger zone today. Really don't like the look of the daily close um, on Solana and also the way it's sort of drifting down towards these volume levels. I think she could really rip into here a little bit just as well based on how aggressive the move up was. The bearish divergences are really strong, so that's playing out. There's three peaks moving higher, meanwhile stock, three peaks lower, uh, three peaks there as well. So these kind of regions, I don't foresee you know, Solana going you know, sub 150 for too long, but if it does get there, that's a, a really good buy zone. Anything sub 160 in my view is pretty good. And if you follow the Fibonacci retracements, uh, I think we're starting to move into some value here, but uh, yeah, 152, that kind of region would be really, really nice to grab. So definitely a danger zone there, but the strength that's shown recently, I think it could also be a one to watch quite easily. Now, this is on my radar as well as a lot of the masterminds we've been talking about a lot. It's Arbitrum, so it's the market leader for TBL. I think it's going to do a, a, a perform really, really well once Ethereum heats up again and, and things start going. I think we're approaching a, a capitulation bottom for Arbitrum. We have a massive token unlock, huge amount of the supply. We're all a bit weary of that. We're really interested in it until it had that unlock because the capitulation of all that supply going to VCs and what hitting the open market is going to drive it lower. I've had about a 37% correction so far. This candle is pretty promising into liquidity below. A lot of people just having orders stacked and trying to soak it up. I'm not convinced yet though. I think generally what happens here, especially with so similar to Bitcoin, if we get a, a crush down to 58 and a big wig over the next few weeks and months, we'll probably have the bounce, but then we'll come back a little bit and retest to, to sort of do a higher low structure. Arbitrum, yeah, again, I'm not, I'm not convinced that that's kind of a low yet, or at least if it is, we'll probably grind in this area here um, in these kind of regions trying to fill it out. So um, that daily 200 moving average is, is a bit of a magnet for me. You know, it could get that low, but in this region, very interesting. Momentum starting to tick on over. So I'm watching Arbitrum like a hawk, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. See you again next time. Bye-bye.